Elite Match Play also has a great component which is planning to play the match. So this is obviously if you can find out a bit about your opponent, even if you don't know your opponent, you know yourself, create a plan, create a backup plan, different things like playing the ball, competing every point. What are your thoughts on that, Pete? Look, uh, you've hit the nail on the head there. You've got to be able to compete every point uh, to do well in the game of tennis. So, so you don't have to win. You don't have yeah, to win okay. every point. Yep. Um, if you compete every point, you're building pressure. We touched on it in another segment. Accumulative pressure. Yep. That in itself is just hustling and chasing down the extra ball or two. Yep. Or it may be a winner. It may be a winning drop shot. But if you run and scramble and at least put the effort in, mm. the person down the other end may play a shot or may see that happen and go, well, hang on, they nearly got that. Yeah. I better play a better shot next time. And they, hit and the they net. drop it shorter mm. and they miss. Or mm. running wide, they miss one by you know half an inch mm. because you've chased that extra ball down each time. So that in itself is, is also a very um, important message. Mm. I, I've worked that one with the Junior Davis Cup guys many times just, just to compete. Mm. You Because you're guaranteed you're not going to win every point. If you compete every point, you're going to win some, mm. you're going to lose some, but mm. the other guy's also going to lose some, and that's going to be to your advantage. Yeah. That's when you've got to take a, take come, a string on it. It comes back also to, to respecting every point, like not throwing it away. You know, be prepared for a return. Don't just give it away. Compete every point. Don't. Well, nothing cheap. Yep. Don't give Don't away give the cheap, cheap points through being lazy, careless, or slappy. So, uh, you know, it, you could go on for a long way in that one, but mm. it's, a, it's a very important message. Compete every point. Don't try and win every point. Mm. Another very good one is plan A versus plan B, or plan A, plan B, and sometimes plan C. You may have a game plan to go out there and take on your opponent. Mm. What happens if it's not working? Do you keep persisting with that game plan? Or they've all of a sudden got the jump on you. Which way do you go? Well, you've got to have plan B, and you've really got to have plan C. So it may be I'm coming out and I'm going to serve and volley. That's my plan A. Oh, that's not working. I'll uh, serve, stay back for the first shot, then look to come in. That could be plan B. Yep. Plan C may be, well, I've got to just stay back and try to match it with them from the back of the court. Not beat them, but just match it. As soon as they drop one ball short, I'm in. And they know that. So mm. they all of a sudden may press a little bit harder and miss a little bit deeper. They don't want to drop it short, so all of a sudden now I'm winning with a plan C that yep. is not really my natural game. Yep. But you've got to have it in the background and understand your capabilities. Mm. And they're coming back again to training, training those ways. Yep. Don't try and beat your sparring partner all the time. Just feel things out and understand. Because when you do train, it's by no means the same situation as when you're going and playing a match. The intensity from the body is it's nowhere mm. near the same. Yep. You always play a match, it's like a boxer. Yep. The boxer doesn't come battered and beaten after you know, 45 minute training session, do they? Yep. they? They're coming out fresh as a daisy, You know, they've done the work, but get into the ring, mm. they certainly yep. know they've been in the ring. Yeah, that's right. And probably something we won't get into the details of it now, but knowing when to transition from plan A to plan B to plan C. You don't obviously throw plan A out just because you got passed on your, your, your first, you came into the net or something and it didn't work. You, you give it some time, but Look, that, that, that's, that's a, for another. That's for another time, Mike, yeah. but a very good point mm. because too many times I see the, the uh, developing juniors, that being told to them to, okay, this is what we want you to do. They do it once or twice and they go, no, that's not working, yeah. I'm doing this. Move so on. they're not looking at the development yeah. side of the big picture at the end yeah. of the day. So yeah. That, yeah, very well said. Mm.